Hey, it's Sharon here from Content Sparks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create graphics in PowerPoint, similar to the ones we do in our brandable course books and slides. And for, to do that, we use something called SmartArt. And here's a selection of the graphics, for instance, that we have in our course called Start Your Own Business Step by Step. And in order to do that, first you're going to open up a blank presentation to create your own. So I'm going to do File and New and set up a blank presentation. I'm going to set the layout there to blank. So layout up at the top here and then blank. So you have a blank slate to work with. Then I want to set up my colors, my branded colors, so that those are easy to access quickly for anything in the design and so that SmartArt gives me those options. So I'm going to go into colors. I have it set up already for content sparks. Otherwise, if you don't have one set up, you go into customize colors and set up all your colors and save it with your name so that you have it in the future for anything. So I'm again going to pick my colors, which is content sparks. If you have a slide design where you have a simple background and you want that in the background of your graphic, you can do that and just make sure you set it up over in this design section. Again, that's you can set up whatever you want and then go into save the current theme. So I'm just going to leave it blank for this one. Now next, before I actually set up the graphic, I want to decide what text is going into it. So I'm going to go over to the course book for this particular course so that I can pick the text I want. So I'm going to go through again. This was a course called Start Your Own Business Step by Step. It's a big course, so it's good to have some graphics to break it up. So I'm going to scroll through. We do have some smart art in here already. And just as an aside, you can create them right here in Word as well. It's the same process where you're going to go and insert smart art. But I want to put them into the slides because then I can save them as images. So let's go down and find something that I want to do. Let's see. Here's a nice short one, a vision statement. Sets out high level goals, inspires you, motivates you, etc. So I'm actually going to copy that text so that I have it handy. I'm going to do a control C. And now let's go back over to the smart art. Again, I've got just these five points and a vision statement is. So let's go over and look at what designs might be good for that. So I'm going to go into insert and then insert smart art. And you can see there are all sorts of designs that I could pick from. There's a list or a process, cycles, etc. There's even ones where you can put pictures in. And I'll show you that as well. So let see what would be good for the vision statement. Uh, let's try it as a process. And here's one. I like this one with the arrow. So I'm going to insert that. Just click on OK. And if I click on the left here, there's a little tiny arrow. And that gives me a place to put the text in. So I'm going to paste in that text that I just saved. And these bullets, you can see they're indented. When they're indented, they're going to be show up in the graphic like you see underneath the previous one. We don't want that because we want each one to be in its own little box. So I'm going to just click on in front of each one in the text box and backspace and keep backspacing and get rid of this extra stuff. Just delete backspace there. Now, I don't like the fact that a vision statement in here is one of the things because it's really more of the title. So I'm going to take that out. So now I just have the main points in here. And I still want it to say vision statement on here, though. So I'm going to put that into a title for the slide, so outside of the smart art. To do that, I'm going to go into Insert and Text Box here at the top. And I'm going to draw that out with my mouse and just type in a vision statement. And you can make that bigger by just highlighting the whole box and making it bigger. And you can even drag it down so it's right inside. But now I have that set up, but I don't really like the colors in here. I want more variety. So I'm going to click and highlight the whole design and go up into Design. So this is the Smart Art tool. So I'm going to click on Design and click on Change Colors. And because I set up my branded colors before, my custom colors, that's one of the options here under Colorful. I can also have 
you know, all one, but I want the colorful. And there it is, all set up. I could even go and play with each of these if I wanted a different order, or if maybe it put two colors in a row because it is a little bit random in here. Say I want this last one to be blue, I can go into the format for that shape and change the shape fill. It'll have all my colors set up. I can just change that to blue as an example. And now my graphics all set up and ready to go. And I can save it as an image just by going into File and Save As. And then you can, you'll give it a name because it doesn't have a name already. So let's go into a folder and call it, um, what is it, Vision Statement. I'm going to call it Demo. And, but I don't want PowerPoint necessarily, though you should save it as a PowerPoint as well. Um, for this right now, make sure you have the saved as PowerPoint first before you convert it. But for demonstration purposes, I'll show you, you would click on JPEG and then you click on save and it'll say, which slides do you want to export? I only have one right now. If I had several, I could do all and they'd come out as separate images, but I'm going to save just this one. And then again, as I said, you'd save the PowerPoint. But let's look at some other options you can do too, because I mentioned that you can also put in images in here or even change the current design. So to change the design to try out other ones, I go into design. So I have the whole thing highlighted, go into design, and you'll see there's a whole pane here where you can select. Right now it's showing all the ones from process because that's the one I originally started with. But you can go into more layouts and see, so say you want a list instead. And I can move this over out of the way. And let's say I wanted to try uh, let's say segmented process, for example. That vision statement I'm going to have to move out of the way because I had it on top of the graphic. So here's one and if I highlight that I could put some sub bullets in here if I wanted to explain. So I click on return and then click the tab inside and it'll give me the options to actually um, you know type in some other sub bullets so this is on sets out high level goals so you could explain what that means like think about where you want to be in 10 years and things like that and you can change the size of the fonts in here just by highlighting it and using your usual editor there's nothing fancy here you can do the same by increasing or decreasing size in the whole smart art by highlighting the whole thing and say making it bigger or bold or a different font for example so if you have your font set up already in here you could do that change all different things whatever it is you want to do in your graphic so that is i'm going to undo that that is the basic smart art and different designs let's look at how we can put pictures in as well. So let's go back to the other design I had. Um, okay, so here's the design that I had ended up with. I'll move this out of the way again. So let's look at what some picture options would be. So again, I'm going to go into design and into that down arrow and into more layouts. And one option here is picture. So what this is going to do is give you options of designs where you can insert a picture. So let's take a look and see what might be good about this one. Um, okay, I'm going to click OK. Now it's showing just one because we don't we didn't have the that other one in there, the separate bullets. So let's put in the a vision statement again and then click return and this what we need to do to show those sub they're like sub bullets is go to the next line and click the tab just tab so they're each indented all right it'll x out things that can't show up with that particular design so then you need to either adjust what's going on here or you need to actually um, change your change your design entirely so for this one, the is written in a present tense doesn't show up, so I might want to pick a different design. But for purposes here, just to show you how to use pictures, I'm going to leave that. So to put the pictures in, you're going to click on the circle 
and you can either pick a picture you already have, pick from their online pictures, or they have icons as well. So they have a whole database in PowerPoint of all different things that you could pick from. So you could say, pick, um, I don't know, this is what high level goals. You could pick something like this. and then it'll put it in there. I don't love that though, so let's try and pick something else. So I'm gonna just delete that. That's all you have to do is delete it to go change it, then click on it again, and let's look at online pictures and see what they have. So they pick online pictures from Bing, and then ones of your own from OneDrive uh, that you could use. This was again about high-level goals, so let's say, I'm just gonna put in the word high and pick something out. So this is a great one right here. Let's see if that shows up. Or actually, I like this one with the, I like this one with the eagle. So let's put that one in and see, it'll just fill it into the circle. And then do that with all the others as well. You can pick right from their database. I think the next one is Inspire. So I'll put that one in. Um, these, you'll have to see what inspires you, but here's one. So I'm going to put that in. We've got Inspire, Motivate. Let's see what that have for that. Um, here's a good one for Motivate. And you'll have to play with different search words. Uh, feelings and Emotions. So let's click on that. Um, what about... Here I'm going to... This is another way to search. I'm going to actually put in a feeling like excited. Oh, I love this one. Okay, so put that in. And now there you go. You have a graphic that has images in it already. And I'll take out that extra bit at the top. And then you'd go through the same process of saving it as a JPEG. You probably want to put your, your, your logo down at the bottom. So you'd click into insert picture and go find your logo on your computer. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but that's another thing you do and put it in the bottom. Now let me show you another thing I mentioned uh, for doing a taller infographic as well. So as an example, I'm going to open one up for you. And this is the overview infographic from that course I was just talking about, our course on Start Your Own Business Step by Step. And you can see it's a tall infographic that gives all the different major modules in the course, just the title of them with a couple bullet points or three bullet points about each one so that people have an overview of your entire course. So this is one design, but um, you can see first you have to set the slide size, which I meant, mentioned before, you have to go into design and then go into the slide size and go into custom and set the height because you'll need a higher one for an overview like this unless it's a very short course with only a few modules. So this we've set up as more of a handout. It wouldn't be in a slide itself, like in a presentation. So then to set up your format, so say you want to take this one and change the way it looks. Again, I'm going to go into design, make sure you have it highlighted, the whole thing. Go into design, and again into this, this area where you have the different layouts. I'm going to click on more layouts. And let's see what we could do here instead of this particular one. So say we want that process again as an example. Um, I'm going to just look through some different ones. Some of them are going to work better than others. Uh, let's see what this one looks like. So that one didn't really work because it, it has to unless you take out all these sub bullets and just have the titles of the module but then it's not really an overview is it so let's try another one here what about this one this one might work let's try actually I quite like this one because it has the the titles of the modules bigger and then it has the bullet points next to it so this one would work well as an alternative also and again you'd go in and you could change the wording on any of these. So say you want to make it cultivate a mindset for success instead of develop. You just go in and you could type it either right in the box or over in the text on the side. And that's all there is to it. You change the colors like you would with any other graphic. 
change the title, put in your logo or your URL at the bottom. That's just a text box there. You can add text like you would with any other infographic and insert text box and put it wherever you want. And uh, you're ready to go with all your smart art graphics. Save it as JPEGs or PNGs or PDFs and share it with your students, your customers, uh, some of them on social media. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.